Hello, I'm Dave Slopsma from Dimensional Consulting, and today we're going to talk about the dad and slat. The dad and slat is something simple, innocent, easy to get right, very beneficial, but so often done wrong. And when it's done wrong, it causes serious problems. So we're going to talk about what it is, why you'd want to use it, how you use it properly, how it gets misused, and what happens when it gets misused. So we start out with our little part here. This has a couple of clearance holes. And these clearance holes are going to want to fit over some kind of a mating part that has either bolts or pins or something like that. And so here's how the parts are going to want to fit together. And when the green part goes over the brown part and the bolts go through the holes, we want to be able to constrain all six degrees of freedom of the green part with those two holes and not have any interferences. So if we take a look at the brown part, we take a look at the bolts or pins that come up out of it. The bolts or pins are not going to be located perfectly. They're going to have location error relative to each other. And it's going to look something like this. This bolt or pin can move to the right or to the left just from tolerances. Not that it's actually going to move, but it could be in all those different locations. Then when we put the green part on, if this thing can move, and you just have the two holes in the green part, the two clearance holes. Then when the bolt moves, it can crash into the side of the hole and it can crash into that side of the hole. Well, that's an undesirable situation. Those are no build situations. We want to avoid that. And if we take a look at the degrees of freedom that are constrained by each hole, the hole on the left is going to constrain these two translations. The hole on the right is going to try to constrain these two translations also. And together, somehow, they're going to try to constrain this rotation. That just makes a mess. When you have multiple features trying to constrain the same degrees of freedom, trying to work together to constrain something else, it causes problems. So what do we do? Instead of the hole on the right, we put in a slot. Then when the pin on the right moves from tolerance or position, it can move there and not have any crashes. It can move that way and not have any crashes. And life is good. It's just a beautiful design. Let's take a look at the degrees of freedom that get constrained. This hole on the left now is going to constrain those two translations. The hole on the right is just going to constrain this rotation, and they will both do a very good job of it. It's a very nice way to constrain things. So this is a very, very good design. However, a lot of people will try to do a dot and slot and they'll do it wrong. They might do the slot like this, rotated 90 degrees. Well, what happens if the slot is rotated 90 degrees? We get a crash again, like we did with the hole. And another crash it does not fulfill its purpose. The slot doesn't do what it's supposed to do. If we look at the degrees of freedom that are constrained, the hole on the left is going to constrain these two translations. The hole on the right is going to try to constrain this translation. So again, we've got two features trying to constrain the same translation. The hole on the right is also going to try to constrain this rotation, and it's not going to do a very good job of it. It just makes a mess. It's way worse than having just the two holes. If you're going to do your slot and dot this way. It's completely worthless. Don't do it. Don't even bother to put in a slot. You're just going to cause more harm than good. So here's the correct way of doing the dot and the slot, where we have no crashes. All the degrees of freedom are constrained the way they're supposed to be. And here's the incorrect way of doing it, where we have the crashes and the degrees of freedom are just totally messed up. So always do your dot and slot correctly. Do not do it incorrectly. If you want a good design, you don't want a mess. So that's our tip for today. Please remember to visit my website at www.dimensionalconsulting.com. Thank you. Bye.